Hey, Shalom, y'all. We got one that can see. <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen that movie called uh, They Live. But in the movie They Live, you know, they had a bunch of people that wasn't real humans. And they was the upper 1% of society that was making money off everybody else and all that. And the, the two people, it was two people that actually had glasses where they could actually see who was the upper 1%. They was pretty much aliens. And you could see who was the regular people as well. That's this type of situation. It's funny because the, the sister next to her can't see whatsoever. Like It's like she don't have no pair of glasses whatsoever. But the one that's talking, she can see. And that's what it's like today. It's, it's a lot of females out here just can't see reality. Just all they see is what they want to see. And they want to make everything about them. But this chick that's going to be speaking, you're going to see what I mean. We got one that can see. Well, just check it out. What percentage of modern women are marriage material? Uh, let me be honest. It's not very, it's not very many. You know why? Women are in tune to their body. They're not in tune with running a household. They're in tune to social media. They're not in tune with the needs of their significant other or their kids. That you know, I, I'm just gonna be honest. The women really is like fuck men. It's all about me. And I don't know if it comes from the fucked up experience that they're, okay. they've had we're or... We're enough. It's enough. It's I, enough. I, I mean, I don't know. Okay, I, wait, wait. Let me just... Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just finish one more thing? Okay. okay. And one more thing about that. Why then, if that's true, why do we have the expression, where have all the good men gone, but nobody's asking where have all the good women gone? Because... Oh, they do. We're privileged. We're I, privileged. We're from where I'm pride. from... We're the fucking prize. And if women don't know that, we're the prize. Fuck a nigga, we're the prize. Yeah. So obviously you can see one had some sense into seeing what's going on today and how it, it has to deal with families and, you know, how the children are paying for it and the husbands are paying for it. And the woman basically being taught that like the, the other sister at the end, oh, we're the prize. If they can't see that, forget about them. I mean, it's just crazy. Let me run through it one more time before I give the rest of my response. What percentage of modern women are marriage material? Uh, I, let me be honest. It's not very, it's not very many. You know why? Women are in tune to their body. They're not in tune. It's funny because the sister... She know her, her friend is just a loud mouth sister just keep on running her mouth. She act like she ain't even talking. The girl just just having a whole conversation to herself off to the side. But you know, t these women be knowing that their friends be out of control and their friends be just ridiculous but still be friends with them. Not in tune with running a household. They're in tune to social media. It's not very, it's not very many. You know why? Women are in tune to their body. They're not in tune with running a household. They're in tune to social media. They're not in tune with the needs of their significant other or their kids. They they in tune with social media and their bodies. They don't care about nothing. They don't care about running a household. They don't care about the needs of their significant other. This woman can see. She can see what's going on. A lot of them, I ain't gonna say a lot. It's some of them that can see and they still refuse to do anything about it. They enjoying all the things that come with being a woman in America while they can see how dangerous it is. Now this sister could be one of those, especially seeing who she hanging out with. But a lot of, a lot of the women that can see they don't they don't do nothing about it it's, a, it's very unfortunate unless it's a brother that that actually holds them accountable and shows them that look this is what god expects of you so the question was what percentage of modern women are marriage material so let's let's pull that up this is ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 now this verse right here will tell you if a woman is marriage material or not you ain't got to do you know, no huge Webster search. No, just go straight to the Bible and see what God expects of a woman. 
And then you can see if she's marriage material or not. And you can clearly just read it to her and see if she agrees with God or if she feel like she know better than God. And the crazy part about it is they will believe in everything else in the Bible, everything else the Bible say, except when it comes to marriage. That is the crazy part. But it says wives, Ephesians 5.22, it says wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. All right. As unto Christ, meaning treat your husband as you would treat Christ. It says for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In everything is the key. Unto the Lord and in everything. That is the way you can tell if she's marriage material, if she really fear God or not, and if she's going to be a good woman to help raise your family. If the woman does not fear God, she's not going to see what God is saying she that he expects of her and her change her ways because mostly America is teaching them the complete opposite. So when he asked that question, what percentage of women are marriage material? Well, you can ask yourself clearly, whoever watching this video, what percentage of women that you know are on this verse 24? Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let their wives be to their own husbands and everything. How many women, you know, obey everything their husbands say every single thing no matter what they obey him and do what he says that's the percentage of women that are marriage material in america and i know the number is low i don't even gotta be right there next to you to know what the number is because i can see out here just like you can see so clearly it's an extremely low percentage of women that are marriage material and it's sad it's sad because brothers actually want families. We actually want to keep the woman uh, or the women that we are with. But America is polluting and poisoning their minds to think that they are worth more than what they are. That they can control a man. When clearly it says here that the man is supposed to be controlling the woman. She's supposed to be obeying everything he says. There's nothing that he say do that she's supposed to be like, nah, well, I feel like it should be this. No, it says in everything. But we want to go away from God and think that we can fix the biggest problem in our households or the biggest problem in our community, which is marriage, which is the union between a man and woman, which brings children about. So then when the children come, if we can fix the union between the man and woman, guess what? The children going to come out clean. The children going to come out understanding what's good and what's evil. But because a lot of women don't agree with what God says about marriage, a lot of them will ignore what God says about everything else. They'll just turn their they whole face away from the Bible, which I've seen women become atheists behind this right here, this verse right here. Women have become atheists. I've seen it myself. And brothers, y'all have seen it, too. If you have read this to a woman and she felt like God is wrong, know for certain she just became an atheist. She is against God. She is she does not care about what God says anymore. She has another God. She has another ruler, and that's the American government that teaches her that she's equal to a man and she can do whatever the hell she wants. That's an atheist, all right? Now, we know atheism is no God, but in America, it's many gods. That's a, what they call a mono monotheistic something like that but anyway we have many gods here in america and the main god is the government the government is telling people what they can and what they can't do and a, probably a better word for it than an, uh, anti uh atheist is antichrist they're against christ completely against his rules against the way he said families should go so when you ask yourself What's wrong with these women? The problem is they have forsaken God. They have forsaken the Heavenly Father and all his rules. And that's the reason why you cannot have a family with these women. They have Family is not on their mind. Only thing on their mind is getting the bag and securing a man that's going to do and, and act the way they want him to act. When this, it should be the exact opposite. 
what should be on the the man's mind is securing the woman that's going to do and act the way he says, as the scripture says. See, the thing is, they want to try to control a man, but it's evil for her to do that. And for a man to control a woman, it's actually righteous. But they don't want you to hear that. They don't want you to think that. They don't want you to be around people that think and know that and see that and read that right here in their face. They don't want you to be around. They want you to ignore this here. You go, you get to this scripture and act like you don't see it. Act like you don't have the power that God gave you. That's what they want in this country. Because this country is evil as hell. Let me go back to it. You know, you know, tune to social media. They're not in tune with the needs of their significant other or their kids. That You know, I, I'm just going to be honest. The Women really is like, fuck men. And that's what it is at the end of the day. They only dealing with men that can do something for them. It's forget all men. I don't care about what men is about. None of that. Until they have a little boy and then they trying to tell the little boy to stay away from women like them. Stay away from women that do the same things that them and their friends are doing out here to all these other men. That's the only time they actually can see the damage that they're doing is when one of their loved ones is asking them, hey, what kind of woman you think I should I should deal with? What kind of woman should I, you know, go ahead and try to wife up they'll be like oh nah you don't want to be with no chick like this or that or like any of my friends because they do this and they do that that's when the real start coming out but truth be told man these women are not they don't care at all about what a man wants they don't care at all about what these children want they only care about themselves they are selfish as hell and it's because america told them that it's all about them and no matter what they read in the Bible, they want to hold on to what America said. It's all about me. And I don't know if it comes from the fucked up experience that they're, okay. they've had. It comes from America. We're or. Enough. We're enough. It's enough. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Okay, I, wait, wait. Let me just. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just finish one more thing? Okay. okay. And one more thing about that. Again, look at her. her friend just all out of control. She tried to snatch the mic. She's telling dude to stop talking. It's just, just all over the place. But that's her partner. She, they still gonna kick it. Why then, if that's true, why do we have the expression "Where have all the good men gone?" But nobody's asking "Where have all the good women gone?" Because oh, they do. We're privileged. We're I, privileged we're from where I'm prize. from. We're the fucking prize. And if women don't know that we're the prize, fuck a nigga. We're the prize. <laughs> I mean, it's just madness, man. It's madness. Like this is what we're dealing with. This is what's in the pool. This was what what is the whole lake is filled with. When you going fishing, you pulling out steady pulling out catfish after catfish after catfish. Why is it catfish? She look like a woman. She might walk like a woman, but when she start talking, all you hear is manly ways. When, when you start actually dealing with her on a daily basis, you start seeing she have not one trait of a woman, according to what the Bible says she's supposed to be. Not one trait. This is catfish. They are catfishing us. They putting up pictures of women. <laughs> and it's, half them pictures ain't even them in real life. It's a whole nother uh, filter. But they putting up pictures of women, but we're not actually getting a woman back in return when we actually meet them. We're getting catfished out here. But again, that's what the whole lake is full of. So it's clear to see what percentage. We can't narrow it down, of course. But it's clear to see there's an extremely low percentage of women that are marriage material out here today. Extremely low. And it's horrible. It's a horrible thing. And I see my brothers dealing with it on a daily basis. It's so hard for a brother to get a wife today. It is ridiculous. And I mean, even doing all of the things that, that the woman is asking for, you still end up losing her. Even though that's not what you're supposed to be doing. But still conforming to their plan and the things that they want. Like, for instance, you can have a, you can have a, a million. You could be a millionaire. And be giving the woman everything that she wants, everything she asks for, and she'll still find a reason to leave you. 
still find a reason. Why? Because they have this thing where they feel like they can always do better. So, yeah, when it comes down to it, what percentage of women is marriage material? It's clear. They're supposed to be submitting to their husband. If they won't do that, brothers, they are not marriage material. Do not get it confused. If they got a whole list of things that they expect from you and expect you to do, but won't even do nothing that the Bible say that they're supposed to do, won't submit to you at all, you, you're getting duped right there. You got to realize, you got to peep it and get away from that. A woman that will not obey her husband is an evil woman. You have to understand that and trust God. Trust that he was serious when he said this. Don't think that, oh, well, it's new to a new day and new times. There could be good women out here that don't obey their husband. No, there is no good woman that does not obey her husband. No good woman. There's no such thing. That is an American custom. That's why women come again from all around the earth to be here in the land of free women where women can do and say whatever they want and they're still protected by these police officers. I'll get at y'all a little bit later, man. Shalom.